guys, welcome to episode 6 of Thunderbolt Fantasy. Now this episode is a lot like the ones previously. A lot of talking, little action. The set pieces are in place and don't move. The one thing that differentiates this episode is how it's blocked. The beginning and the end of the episode curtail nicely together. It begins with the young brash spear wielder, you know, basically being his prototypical douchebag character. He's young, he's on top of the world, he can do anything. And he's being this way to pretty much everybody in the group, you know. He has something to prove, and everybody else is holding him back. There is also mistrust between other members of the group. You have to remember these are a group of guys who have never met before, coming together for a single goal, who are mainly lone wolves. So they're going to have some problems. Now during the middle, there's, you know, a lot of dialogue, uh, a lot of talking, you know, about who a guy now is, you know, what, what his purpose is, why he's willing to do all this. It's... It's a lot of filler, you know, it doesn't, this part doesn't really progress the story, so it's not much to it. As we get to the end of the episode, we now have the Screaming Phoenix Killer egging on the young spear wielder. You know, it's a nice little bit of camaraderie that kind of ties everything together a little bit. And not to be one-upped, the Screaming Phoenix Killer does get in on the action at the end, taking care of one of the big bad guys, basically. And just when it looks like, you know, we've gotten ahead a little bit, the real bad guy enters the scene. Hmm. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Check out the preview for the uh, next episode. You guys be awesome.